Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie, and this is your mid-month reading for March 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. Kindly remember that this is a general reading, and that time is fluid, so please apply what resonates currently and suspend the rest. This reading can be applied to relationships, career, and personal growth, as well as to the sign of Sagittarius wherever it presents in your birth chart. I do offer personal readings, and you can find my information in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And with that, Sags, let's get started. So right off the bat, in your pre-shuffle, I received this energy of being um, letting down a significant amount of pressure. I feel like you have been putting yourself or someone you're connecting with has been putting themselves under a lot of pressure to be recognized. For those who are in, uh, this is a career situation for you. This is about fighting tooth and nail for that promotion. For those where this is love involved, there is somebody who you are connected with and you are trying to get to that point where y'all are exclusive. You guys are um, together officially. And I'm getting for you, Sag, that that message may go um, both ways. There may be a cross watcher watching and that is just the cross watchers uh, feeling there. Now I will say you made a very dramatic entrance into Pisces reading and you may be connecting very deeply with a Pisces that you adore. Okay. Um, but this is about a pressure that someone is realizing is not sustainable, but they're just about there. It's like just the right amount of pressure just the right on yourselves, not on someone else. Um, but it's like just the, the person's putting just enough pressure on themselves to take responsibility for the role they play in this connection, in this situation. So let's see for Sag, please. Messages for Sag. We've got deep knowing. So, man, I'm getting a sense here, Sag, that whatever this is, this road that you're on, this this pursuit that you have this is about it coming from a place of you knowing in your heart of hearts that this is something that you should be a part of something that you should be pursuing um there is no mistake here you know where you belong and this is something that you know for years you feel like you've needed to be a part of for for quite a while um for some it is that long for others it's just that you didn't know you needed this person until you met them but you know, this is a deeply spiritual connection for you. Serendipity. So this is about luck. You didn't know. It was almost like, it's almost like, Saj, you were not expecting to meet anyone or you were not expecting for things to turn out the way they have so far. But it's like right when you thought that you did not want any of this to happen or that you wouldn't have any interest or you for some reason, you are given the exact opposite of what you intended, but it's turned out to be everything that you wanted. So it came at an unexpected time, but it, it almost, you feel very lucky, Sag, to be sitting in that energy with that person or in these circumstances. Mending. So for some, this is about a reconciliation with someone that you had a falling out with. For others, this is about, this to me reads very similarly to the Six of Cups someone that you are near and dear to, someone who in a way you help them pick up the pieces. You guys complete each other. You guys are each other's best friends. Um, this is also someone who you just feel very familiar with, someone that you feel comfortable being around. So this person that you're connecting with, if it's love, this is about um, being with someone who really does feel like a true soulmate at heart. This can also be a best friend because our best friends can be soulmates. But this is, this is an important um, progression in a familiar, otherwise existing relationship or connection. And it can also be someone who feels very familiar, who is technically new to your world. But there's something about them you can't put your finger on. It just feels right. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about the... That's Gaia. Gaia barking in the background. Apologies for that. Um, but yeah, this is about moving into that space with somebody who feels very familiar. Um, and they, yeah, they might be new to you. 
but it just feels right. There's something that just feels right. So let's get some more information using the Archangel Power Tarot cards. Let's see here, please. What's going on for Sag? More information. Past, present, future. Why it's all happening and the best case scenario, please. Past, present, future. Why it's all happening and best case scenario, please. And we will clarify these placements with the Smith Weight Tarot deck. Past, present, future. Why it's all happening and the best, most, the best case scenario, please, for Sagittarius. Oh. All right, Sag, sorry about that. Um, don't know if you heard that that bang in the background, but um, something something happened just now, and. Uh, if you believe in synchronicity, that may mean something to you, something just coming out of the blue like that. Um, an interruption, so to speak, but something that sounded concerning, right? Um, but anyway, let's see, La past, present, future. Past, present, future. Best case, why it's all happening in best case scenario, please. Past, present, future. Best case. Why it's all happening in the best case scenario, please. For Sagittarius. All right. So in the recent past, Sag, we've got perspective. So you may be connecting with a Pisces. We are connected right now, Sag. Goodness gracious. So Piscean energy. You showed up in their past energy twice. Um, so yes, for some of you, you are connecting with a Pisces. For others of you, this is about you gaining a different perspective in a situation that you may have been feeling very stuck in, but I want you to keep in mind, Sag, that there is something purposeful and intentional about this feeling of stuckness. Um, there is a lesson to be learned here, and I know that that just is so frustrating to say. Um... But there is something, when it comes down to the hanged man, that position is supposed to feel uncomfortable. It's supposed to be sacrificial. It's supposed to be um, a phase where you are able to sort of take advantage of an uncomfortable situation and take from it what you can in terms of next steps, different ways of viewing something. These are also downloads. So pay close attention to anything in your environment um, that you may not have received yet, but that you will be very soon. Um, this is your past position. So if this is not something you've encountered yet, you will be. Okay. Now, this is about receiving downloads. So again, synchronicities, coincidences right now are not going to be, are not actual coincidences, Sag. Okay. Now, where you are currently is the Four of Cups. So you may be in a space where you feel either um, taken for granted for some. For others, you may be feeling a bit bored with your situation. But I'm also getting that you feel restless, that you are determined to move out of a space that you're currently in, but you just don't know how. You don't know where you should go with this. You want to progress, but how? Okay, and I'm getting a similar energy here with the hanged man. It's just that same sort of, I know where I am. I know where I want to be, but like, what, what do I do? How do I, how do I do this? How do I navigate this? Right? What's the best way to go about this? What's coming in is the two of swords. So coming in, there's going to be a need to make a decision, but someone won't be able to give an answer right away. This could be you or someone you're connecting with. All right. But this is about reaching an impasse. So I will say for now, Sag, there is, in the short term at least, you're going to find yourself in a space want, of wanting to move forward but still not being able to, to do so because a decision needs to be made but it hasn't been made yet. So it's not to say that options won't be given to you or that someone else's answer won't be given to you. But it's more of a question of, are you sure, Sag? Are you sure that this is what you want to do or don't want to do? So it's about asking you before you move forward, Sag, 
if based on everything you're seeing and based on how everything is otherwise unraveling, is this, does this meet your standard? Are you okay with this? Now, why it's all happening is the Six of Swords. For some of you, this is about travel. There may have been some um, distance between you and a person, a distance having to um, be crossed in order to pursue a new job, um, a new relationship, just some new prospect. The reason it's all happening is because there is a transition from an otherwise chaotic past to something much better, much more tranquil. So whatever this is, Sag, there is this understanding that you are moving from a space of indecision and uncertainty into a space that you just feel, even if you don't have all the answers yet, you know is better for you in the long term. And the best case scenario is the Knight of Swords. So you may be connecting with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but the best case scenario here is that the next move is made um, it's made as a result of an honest conversation and it happens very quickly. So this, this movement through the conversation happens quickly and then how everything follows afterwards also happens very quickly. So this is about just a swift message of truth. This is about something coming in very quickly. And I want to say, you know, sometimes this can be very damaging energy. I don't feel that for you, Sag. I feel like this is just the truth needs to come because the things need to move forward. Things need to progress. There's, you're a very dynamic, you're a very dynamic sign, Sag. You're a very dynamic person. So to be in this space of having to consider and reconsider and questions and reassessments and restlessness, you don't do well with this energy because you just do, you just do. But there's something here that is, you know, requiring a bit more sensitivity and because you know this you are giving it that time you are doing your due diligence okay now let's see here clarifying for sag clarifying for sag please so clarifying the hanged man which is piscean energy we've got the sun strong leo energy I'm going to say this, Sag, if you're connecting with a Pisces, they are just the light of your life and they feel the same. They feel absolutely the same towards you. All right. I saw you in their reading. It's part of why I wanted to do your, your reading after theirs, because I just needed to know what was going on between y'all, because this, this connection is incredibly strong. All right. This is warm. This is growth. This is inviting for some this is the person who's going to be the, the, you know, the father, the mother of your child, right? A boy. It, it's, it's like, this is, uh, it's eternity with the sun. This is, this is the beginning of forever. So if you're connecting with this Pisces, please know that this is mutual. For those of you who are connecting with a Leo, you may find that things are a bit stuck right now. However, you guys both share a very strong connection, okay? There is potential here. For others of you, this is just about being in a space where a cycle of being uncomfortable <clears throat> is about to bring an immense amount of healing. Something that you have been sacrificing yourself for, something you've been inconveniencing yourself for, something that has made you feel very uncomfortable is about to show you why it was worth it. Coming um, where you currently are with the Four of Cups is being clarified with the Five of Swords. So this is similar to what we were saying about why it's all happening with the Six of Swords. This is about you moving out of a space that felt very defeating um, and useless almost and leaving that behind for something better, something more long lasting. It's also about feeling like someone has been taking advantage of you, Sag. Right? You feel like you've been neglected. You feel like someone is overlooking what you put in. This was the same. So for those of you connecting with a Pisces, this relationship, this connection is very strong. You guys both feel it. But we saw this as well in the Piscean. As a cross watcher, Sag, I suggest going, uh, taking a look at the guidance portion towards the end of the reading for Pisces um, to get more insight because I feel like it would be useful to, to the two of you. 
But otherwise, this is about you being in a space right now where you feel taken for granted. You feel like someone's taking advantage of you. That, yeah, you have a strong commitment to each other, but what is it for? Now, coming into the near future is the Two of Swords being clarified by the Six of Wands. So you feel in the near future, you're going to have this impasse, but you're also going to feel like despite your hardest effort to be recognized for something, someone is still not recognizing you. Now, here is the key, Sag. It is possible that the language you're speaking and the language the other person or other people are speaking are completely different. So in that sense, I, I advise you to take a look at your plan, reassess your plan, because it's not that what you are aiming for is not meant for you. It's that the, your approach, your approach, it's not communicating the information required the way you think it is. It's the presentation. It's the approach. Um, it may be too aggressive. Maybe it's not aggressive enough. Take a look. Tweak your approach because that is all. That's the only situation. That's the only real. Um, that is the only real issue. The block to this. Okay. Coming into the near future, there is going to be a, a decision that needs to be made about what to do with this feeling of being taken advantage of or being neglected or being passed over for something or someone else okay why it's all happening is the six of swords being clarified by the page of cups for some of you this is a cancer pisces scorpio for others of you this is about having received a message a sweet message from someone either that they love you they are in love with you or an apology right someone who is really trying to move past a tough situation and trying to mend trying to mend the relationship okay whoever this is they don't want to let this go and i'm not getting that they're they're hmm, what comes off as being taken as taking advantage of you i don't feel like that is intentional i feel like they want to know how to improve on this they just don't know how but it is happening because of some kind of an apology or a water sign or someone who gave you an honest answer about the way they feel about something and now because of that there's the, there's this relief and release and distance from either that person or a thing that they did. Now, clarifying the best case scenario, which is the Knight of Swords, is the Eight of Swords. So best case scenario is that an honest conversation is had or a message is delivered as quickly as possible so that you can stop feeling stuck. For some, I am getting that this is a very big move. I'm getting for some, this is career. This is about you know, you really want to be viewed, you want to be recognized, you want to be acknowledged, you want to be chosen. But am I doing all the right things? Am I doing the best I could? What am I, what, what can I do better? Okay. Best case scenario is that you receive an answer very quickly from the, from the last few people, the last person, the last institution, whoever it is that you apply to, that you receive a message from them very quickly. So that way you don't sit hanging around in this energy of, am I worth it? Is this going to work out? For others of you where this is about this person, right? Best case scenario is that you and this person connect over an honest conversation and that basically clears up whatever whatever feelings of doubt there were about the connection or about the relationship. Because there was an apology, there was some kind of heartfelt communication at the very least between you and someone who you both really love each other. There's a deep respect and friendship that you guys have together. But you're sitting in this space right now, Sag, where you feel like they are not seeing you for everything that you do. And moving forward, if it's not resolved, if it continues down this path, it is going to come to a space where you are still trying to be motivated through this and still feel like you are not being recognized. Okay. Now, let's pull some guidance, please, for Sag. Let's pull some guidance for Sag. Oh my goodness. Guidance for Sag, please. <laughs> Eight of Cups. 
and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you also received, so the Page of Pentacles came up also for Pisces. Um, now, I'm going to say this, you may have Pisces very strong in your chart if you're not connecting with one, but the Eight of Cups with the Page of Pentacles is about you moving in a direction that is much more fulfilling to you um, as it relates to a new commitment, okay? So for some of you, this is about turning away from an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this may be someone that you, for some one reason or another, you, you have to put some distance between you guys. Their influence is not the best. Um, this could also be about leaving bad friendships behind. You may have some friendships that are not supportive. You know, you, what you are trying to achieve and what you're trying to build are very honest things. These people may find that they they want to tell you what direction to take, but it's it works for them, but not for you, and they're insensitive to that. Now, overall, Sag, this is about asking you to look at what it is you are committing yourself to. What is the long-term goal here with this person, with this thing, with this situation? And how can you best pursue it? How can you best pursue it in a way that makes you love it more, makes you love them more? Because I feel like when it comes down to this page of pentacles, this learner's mindset that you're being asked to take on, it's not going to be happiness right off the jump. It's not going to be happiness just right, right out the gate. But having left something else, you're going to feel like even though you're not where you want to be yet, you are on your way there, if that makes sense. Okay. Now, for others of you where this is more career-oriented and school is a factor, you may find that in order to receive that um, promotion, you'll be required to go back to school or finish some type of licensure program first. It may not be the thing that you want to do, but that is what would most likely need to happen in order for you to no longer be passed over by these other people, other person, or just in general, there may not be anyone else involved, but you are not exercising your, you're not, it, you're not, you, there isn't enough freedom to reach for your goal and build on your goal the way you want to because of this limitation. But I am getting sad that there is a need here to ask yourself what it is you want in the long term and how can you look at it in a way that you see that you are on the right track. Like, how can you get yourself to actually feel it? One more card, please. Four of Swords. So this is about taking a time out, taking time to think about it, getting some rest. For some of you, this you haven't been getting enough rest. But this is meditation. This is asking yourself. This is going within and trusting your gut. There's something about this process, Sag, that you can't see, but you can feel it. And you know there is a little bit more required of you to finish and to move on. The guidance is to continue down that path because you know, you know in your heart of hearts that this is the direction you are moving into, that you are trying. This is the direction that once completed will be in your best interest and be your ten of ten of cups. It'll be your fulfillment. It'll be your forever after. But it requires time and patience and diligence. And with that, Sag, I'm going to leave this here. Okay? Sag, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with your energy. I hope that you found this clarifying and helpful. If you did, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Um, and with that, Sanj, I will see you in the next readings. I love you so much. And until next time, I'm sending you all of my love. Bye, Sanj.